హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దేవికాస్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమీ మార్కెటింగ్ ఫ్యూ టాపిక్స్ ఆల్రెడీ కవర్డ్ ఫ్యూ మోర్ టాపిక్స్ ఐ వాంట్ టు టచ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్స్ సో టుడే విల్ సీ గ్లోబల్ మార్కెటింగ్ గ్లోబల్ మార్కెటింగ్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్టూడెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ గ్లోబల్ మార్కెటింగ్ గ్లోబల్ మార్కెటింగ్ మీన్స్ మార్కెటింగ్ ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ ద కంట్రీస్ నాట్ జస్ట్ ఫోకసింగ్ ఆన్ ద లోకల్ మార్కెట్ ఆర్ హోమ్ మార్కెట్ హోమ్ టౌన్ మార్కెట్ we have to focus on the other countries also it can be exporting or importing we want to export our products in other countries or few products we wanted to import it and we may we may directly sell to the customers or we may improvise it we can do some kind of modifications rectifications then after that new version we can sell it anything is possible but only the thing is you have to understand global marketing so how many countries are there which countries required our product and according to that whether we have to import or export if you want to export or import what is the procedure and what are the rules and regulations pricing strategy company uh, countries uh, policies and all these things you need to have a good understanding then only global marketing is possible today we'll see in depth of global marketing what is global marketing what are its features and steps to be involved in global marketing design how to design the global marketing related to that how many steps are there five steps that we are going to discuss just focus easily you can understand first of all what is global marketing global marketing means global marketing refers to marketing done across various countries where is the marker marketing done across various countries rather rather than just focusing on marketing in the home country not only marketing in home country rather than that we have to focus on across various countries that is global marketing once again read it global marketing refers to marketing done across various countries rather than just focusing on marketing in the home country very clear okay now if you see the features total seven features are there very easy to understand what are the features of the global marketing global mar- marketing means nothing but marketing it be- between the countries exporting or importing from another country is global marketing in simple words you can remember now what are the features first thing is that it has wider scope and endless opportunities it has wider scope and opportunities are endless why wider scope endless opportunities means you know that world is too big many countries are there if you want to export your products in any country not only one country there are many countries once if you get command over one country suppose say uh, in germany you wanted to export some goods okay you have done it and you are you have started getting good profit then go to another country go to china go to russia go, go to america like world wise many countries are there that is why it's having a wider scope not one country or two countries many countries wherever you want you can start your business with another country wider scope and opportunities are endless you can't say it is limited up to the, this year i'm happy my job is finished my targets are finished no you can go endless wide range of opportunities are this is the main important feature of global marketing second thing is that it requires huge financial resources you need a lots of financial resources because it's a global marketing with limited products you can't do you have to go in large scale when you want to go in large scale you need to have a sufficient financial sources huge financial sources are required with small amount it is not going to work out it is another important feature and next it deals with different types of consumers consumers different types of consumers you will find because country to country differs their taste differs their preferences differs technology is differing if you go to developing or under developing country their requirements are different if you see developed countries or developing countries their requirement their taste their technology and that's different so that is why we are saying it deals with different types of people different types of society different types of countries you are going to find okay so that you have to keep it in your mind according to that you have to plan 
and latest technology you have to use technology is developing year by year you you wanted to do something with other country understand that country's policies understand the country technology where they are are you advanced to that country are you able to give much more good technology to that country then you are ready or if the country is already developed they are already uh, involved or they are already implementing latest technology then you need to be more than that so that is why latest technology which plays a vital role in the global marketing and in the same way it requires different policies strategies for the promotion of product if you want to promote the product i want to promote the product in global marketing in different countries what is required requires different policies and strategies all the policies you have to understand and strategical planning differently uniquely which can be attractive attracted to the all the customers something it should be curious unique and design and everything is something different mesmerizing awesome okay a customer should feel that what is this product at least one time i want to buy so that kind of planning is required so requires different policies strategies for the promotion of the products it can be attractable next one there are some barriers in global marketing what are the barriers barriers like tariff tariff will be always more tariff and trade agreements local laws you need to have a good understanding what is trade agreement and what is laws local law country to country law is differs when you are having any kind of uh, transaction when you are having any kind of import or export you need to understand that local law also you have to satisfy your country law and focus on the other country law also both the sides you have to be aware you have to be very careful you need to have the awareness okay so that's about barriers like tariff trade agreements local laws all these things you have to satisfy you have to have you need to have a good understanding then only you will be able to satisfy and next one is that marketers to be well versed whoever is doing global marketing these people the marketers global marketers they must be well versed they must be expertized in which areas they must be expertized in foreign exchange import and export policies and invoice documentation shipping or air freight rules these are all involved when you wanted to do global marketing isn't it so all these areas the global marketer need to be well versed or he need to be expertized like foreign exchange export and import policies invoice documentation shipping if you are uh, sending the goods goods through the shipping then shipping if you are sending through the air then air shipping or air freight rules etc so these are the main features of global marketing understood to some extent now what are the steps are involved in global marketing designing when you wanted to go for global marketing what are the steps step by step you need to focus there are so total five steps are there so these steps we say it are the steps involved in designing global marketing program when you wanted to have a global marketing program five steps are there step by step you have to focus first step is that identifying target market identify first of all which which market is good which country is good that market you have to identify how do you identify for this you need to have a good understanding and go for a study marketing study and uh, which product you wanted to import or export and uh, understand about that product who are the countries and what will be the price and all these things you need to study are you getting it all these things you need to study that is the first step identifying the target market then once if you study once if you get an understanding then focus on the target market this is my target market this country is better i would like to focus on this country target market there are many products in our country india also there are many foreign products are there for example you take nike there are many uh, good shoe companies are there but still nike is foreign good foreign company but 
it is working very well because they are focusing on the target people now you know you, you need to understand that uh, developing country underdeveloped well developed nike is the example we are taking nike is the product shoe company product the cost is always high where they can focus they can focus on developing countries or developed countries india is such a country that there are many people who are able to spend and there are some society they feel that this product if i buy it that's a dignity rather than the usage dignity they feel so that costly products means people are ready to buy it so india is the right market right country to have so they focus like many products which have entered into our country and whereas the same product if they wanted to launch in pakistan sri lanka they may not get the targeted audience because their purchasing power is not up to the mark undeveloped country very low purchasing power customers are there so that is why you need to focus on the first target identifying the target market which companies which country is good which company uh, customers are able to pay their purchasing power is good so based on that you have to select it once if you select it then you have to focus on product planning for global market product planning product planning means the product which is uh, ready to export let's say take an example the product a is there this is ready to export so how to do go, how to go for the product planning same products designed uniquely unique product so same product i wanted to export is yes you can product you can export it but few companies or few countries they expect customized product customized product means some unique features they want unique features they are expecting that unique features you have to give it to them then only they'll be satisfied so according to that so same as it is can i export it or shall i do some modifications and then i can go for exporting the product out of these two you have to select any one same means no problem so according to the country requirements as per the customer uh, importance and taste technology all these things so i have to modify it so according to that that you have to plan product planning is that then after that pricing for global markets very important and very difficult task also pricing for global markets so when you wanted to go for pricing you need to understand the pricing system of that country how is the pricing system if you want to export you need to focus on the same products which are available in those countries what is the pricing strategy for example you want to ex uh, export uh, in imp import if you want to import then you need to understand the pricing strategy of our country at what rate they are ready to sell and what is our system and how much will be your uh, that uh, surplus how much profit you are going to get so that you have to understand that's about the pricing of the global markets very important if pricing is decided then it is very easy to have dealing with other countries next one deciding the mode of entry in the mode of entry in the global markets how do you want to enter a global into the global marketing how do you want to enter there are two ways one is direct exporting or indirect exporting direct or indirect anything you can any method direct exporting means you are entering directly no help of export houses or trading houses you are not taking any help of the others you are well versed you have good knowledge you can uh, enter into the market you have all the policies you have good knowledge of all these uh, pro processes and everything then you can go for the direct exporting if no knowledge still you are able to do exporting or importing with other countries that is called as indirect exporting directly you are not exporting but indirectly you are exporting means we are taking the help of the some of the government organizations or mediators so that is why we say indirect exporting we take the help of the like, trading houses like mmts there are trading houses who are uh, running under the government only mmts state trading corporation and national small industries corporation so with the help of this also you can enter into the global marketing these organizations 
दीज आर्गनजेशन दीज आर् गोइंग टू हेल्पुल फर् यू इन एंटरिंग इन टू द ग्लोबल मार्केटिंग दट इज अबउट द इंडरेक्ट एक्सपोर्टिंग लास्ट वन इज दमोटिंग प्रोडक्ट्स ओके यू हाव डिसेड दट टारगेट मार्केटिंग इज प्लानिंग इज ओवर अंड प्राइसिंग इज आलो डिसेड and mode of entry directly or indirectly also decided lastly you are focusing on the promoting products how to promote promoting products or services in global market how to promote it very important there are many ways to promote means you have to make it familiar your product or services to the other country make them familiar with your products i am giving so and so products it's available in your country also how you can order it some awareness you are going to create it that is what we say it as a awareness to the customers to the other country now how do you do that there are many ways one minute there are many ways one way is here advertising you can give advertising or otherwise direct mailing also you can do it and trade fairs you can conduct trade fairs or exhibitions there also you can find potential customers potential market you can find even you can find the mediators also and sales promotion you can do selling strategies different strategies you can apply it isn't it so there are many ways but you can make the right choice the right choice most of the time the right choice would be advertising advertising means through the media through the paper through uh, facebook or twitter whatsapp in any way you just wanted to go for advertising but choosing the right way of advertising is also important once if the customer and the organization somebody is interested on your product then it is clicked you are succeed so like last step is this total five steps are involved what are the five steps first one is identifying the target market then product planning you wanted to identifying target market product planning then after the third one is pricing very easy to remember identify product planning pricing then mode of entry direct or indirect last one is that how do you want to advertise that is promotion promotion of your services or products in the global marketing so these are the ways simple very easy to remember global marketing in any examination if you get the any kind of question these are the main important points exactly you need not to write but somewhat if you have an understanding in general also you can think and write but having good understanding is important thing no need to buy no need to buy hat isn't it screenshot yes yeah. in the coming class we'll see few more topics related to the marketing and let me know what are the subjects you are expecting there are many subjects already covered in our channel check out the playlist and stay connected have a bright career good luck